In this video, I want to show you two new plugins that are brand new in RX4 and RX4 Advanced, and they enable us to streamline the workflow when working between a DAW, in this case Pro Tools, and the standalone version of RX. So let's take a look at the first one, the RX4 Monitor plugin. Now you can see here that status is disconnected, and what it is, it's a real-time plugin which I've inserted on a dedicated auxiliary input track. But you'll see here that at the moment, the RX4 monitor plugin, it's saying that the status is disconnected. So although I've got it active within Pro Tools, I also need to activate the other half in RX4. So if we switch back to RX4, and now go into the preferences, so up to the top right hand corner, the spanner icon, and you can see here that under the driver type, if I just change that now to a new edition here called RX monitor, changes both the driver type and the output device to RX monitor. All the other settings are disabled because we don't need them for RX monitor. Click OK. So now if I switch back to Pro Tools, you can see that the status is now connected. So if I am working in RX, so if I start playing this audio, we can get rid of unwanted sudden sounds such as that of the bike bell. You can see that it's now coming through in the track RX monitor. So now we're able to audition the standalone version of RX. We can now audition that without having to change the monitoring within Pro Tools. Such as that of the bike and that's really, really useful because although with the native versions, most DAWs, it's possible to share the audio output of your computer across more than one application. When you're using HDX or HD in Pro Tools, the software acquires exclusive use of the interface. So it means if you want to work within Pro Tools, which will obviously use the Pro Tools interface, but also work within RX, you had to use a different interface or use your computer audio output, and then somehow route that through to your monitoring so that you could listen to either the output of Pro Tools or the output of RX. Now with the RX monitor plugin, you don't need to because we can route the audio from RX into this monitor plugin and audition it through our DAW, in this case, Pro Tools. Now, the second new plugin is this one here, RX4 Connect. Now in Pro Tools, this is an audio suite plugin. And what it enables me to do is to take audio. So for instance, if I highlight this audio here, I've got two options. I can either send it as a reference file, and that's really useful if you want to send, say, a file that's got a noise profile that you want to learn, so it only goes one way. Or if you want to repair audio, then you use the repair option, and that's what it defaults to, which is the round trip process. So having highlighted the audio, I send it. Notice that the computer has brought RX to the front and is now displaying the audio. So now I could process this audio. So let's say we use the dialog denoiser, which is now available in RX4 regular, whereas before it was an advanced only feature. So we can hit the process button, run through the process. And now we finish the process. Notice that the tab for this piece of audio that's come from Pro Tools is labeled Pro Tools 1. It's got this blue surround. And most importantly, it's got this send back button here. So if I click on the send back button, you can see again that the computer has brought Pro Tools to the front. The plugin is saying I've got some audio ready to place. And so I could choose to put it on a different track, but in this case, I want to replace the audio with the repaired version. So click on the render, and there is the repaired version ready to go. Hey, it's Russ here at NAMM 2012. I'm back with Bobby Lombardi. So we've got our RX4 monitor plugin to enable us to audition RX4 standalone through our favorite DAW. And we've got the RX4 Connect plugin to enable us to very easily send audio from our DAW into RX standalone and back again. Before RX4, we had a range of plugins available to us within our DAWs. But of course, they didn't cover all the features that are in RX4 standalone. Now with RX4 Connect, 
effectively what I'm able to do is to access any and all of the features in the standalone version of Rx, just as though they were plugins within my favourite DAW. I'll see you in another video.